up what is going on guys I'm back with another video and today I am back on Genesis and today's video we are back with another progress episode now before we get into today's video I just want to mention as always to check out call and call on YouTube to open up the YouTube voting page on here content creators like myself will be posting content about the realm or about Genesis if you see videos like this pop up make sure to give it a watch give some love to the content creator by liking the video and making sure you are subscribed to the content creator and also leave a nice comment together with your in-game name and then you would be able to collect some of these caskets ranging from the bronze casket all the way to the supreme casket which has some really sick rewards speaking of the rewards as you can see i stacked up a few of those caskets in my inventory so i'll open those up in just a second i'm just going to go ahead and vote because with voting you will actually get yourself some additional caskets on top of those already so as you can see from that vote I got super lucky and I got myself a supreme casket which is the best one that you can get so now I have the full range from bronze all the way to the supremes I'm gonna start off with the 16 bronze caskets that I have in my inventory from these you would be able to get yourself salient noble or eminent pieces which are of course the best rewards from these similar to the gold caskets the only difference is that the gold caskets will have three of these spinning interfaces so you'll get three rewards from each of these caskets these and uh, the platinum and of course the supreme caskets work exactly the same the only difference between those is that the rewards are a little bit better you would be able to get the second best in slot armor set from those which is the helion armor set anyways we just got ourselves oblivion boots as a reward from the bronze casket which isn't too bad at all because i would be able to sell that for about 7.5 quadrillion so that is not too bad anyways let's go ahead and quick open a few of those just to see if we can get any more of the decent rewards so far all of it is pretty junk unless we just got ourselves an eminent cape which is a really good reward Anyways, moving on from that, I'm gonna open up the gold caskets. Now, as you can see, these have three rewards from each casket, so my inventory will get pretty cluttered. The chance of getting a rare reward, though, is a lot higher. As you can see, we just got ourselves an enraged staff, which isn't too bad at all. Anyways, once again, I'm just going to speed open those and hopefully get ourselves a juicy reward in total. I think that is enraged boots and another enraged staff, which is also another good reward. And I don't think I can open up this last casket without banking. I also got myself demon hunter chaps which isn't too bad at all anyways time to finish it off by opening up this last gold casket moving on to the platinum and of course the supreme casket as well if we could get a helium piece from the supreme casket that would be super awesome anyways we just got ourselves enraged gloves as well right there which we would be able to sell for quite a nice amount of money that is a zionic gloves which isn't too bad anyways time to open up the supreme casket which is of course the best casket out of the three of those and we get ourselves some more um, oblivion boots which we would be able to sell but no good loot from those unfortunately now since i already have the eminent cape on me i will go ahead and add this to the event chest because with that we should be able to get ourselves one of the release boxes so that is pretty nice as well anyways let's go ahead and open this up and hopefully get ourselves something really good from those the main reward that I would want to get is the eminent plate leg so I can go ahead and upgrade those or eminent gloves if I can get one of those as well that would be super nice. You get tw uh, ourselves 20 oblivion goodie bags so let's go ahead and open all of those up real quick and see if we can get ourselves some of the resurgence keys just like that which will help me out in the long run because I will need to open up quite a lot of those. Um, so anyways let's, let me open up all of those 20 and see if i can get myself anything good from those and i'll be back in just a second so in total of that the loot wasn't the best but i'm not going to complain either we got ourselves some of the shadow lord goodie bags so just uh, i'm just going to go ahead and open those real quick and we also got two oblivion mystery boxes now this is actually quite nice because the oblivion armor set or the pieces rather can be sold for quite a lot of money so i'm not going to complain about any of those that is the oblivion plate body not too bad at all let's see if i can get myself maybe re surgeon's aura yes we can so we can go ahead and sell this for a nice amount of money as well now i do have quite a lot of cash from all of the boxes that i have been opening so i'm going to go ahead and buy the eminent gloves right there or the eminent gauntlets if i can find myself a decently priced eminent piece of legs then i would go ahead and buy that as well but right now the cash is lower than i expected from this gauntlets buy but anyways if we go ahead and equip those the stats should go up quite a bit as well so that is super nice and now we can also go ahead and sell these oblivion gloves for some additional cash so i just got myself enough superior slayer points i'm going to start off by unlocking the double slayer experience which will help me out by getting my slayer level up because i do want to get some slayer prestiges in and for that the additional experience will help me out quite a lot 
For the rest, I still need to unlock all of these, so I still have quite a few of these Superior Slayer points together. I just got myself a Superior Mystery Box as a drop from Farseer Wizard at Kelkan32. Anyways, we are a new day, so I voted once again, got myself 3 more casks, let's see if I can get myself my Eminent Plate Legs, which is the item that I'm absolutely going for at the moment. Uh, so far, I didn't get anything, but we still have 2 golden caskets to open up real quick. Anyways, after this, I am going to do a few other things. Oblivion Scyther, that is a nice reward, because I would be able to sell that for quite a bit of money. But I pretty much was focusing on Superior Slayer and I absolutely forgot that we still have a battle pass with a bunch of rewards that we are able to complete and then get those rewards. So that is what I'm going to be focusing on now and I'm going to skip Slayer for a little bit. Alright, we just forged ourselves a Collector's Amulet Eye which obviously is an upgrade from our regular Collector's Amulet so that is also really sick. Oh, there we go. Only took us 298 kills, but we just got ourselves the 2% melee crystal, which is super nice. And with that, we also completed tier 2 of our battle pass. Ah, oh, yes. Thanks, fuck, for that. We just got ourselves the 5% drop rate orb from a 5 uh, drop rate champion on kill count 735. That's how long it took me to grind out this orb. But anyways, that is once again another task done. Those are the most annoying tasks that I have seen so far because they just take so long. Anyways, time to do some really easy tasks and move on on the battle pass. So first on the list we have opening up 10 of these lucky chests. This shouldn't be an issue whatsoever. We also got ourselves Zionic Wings which isn't too bad at all. That is actually a nice reward that we got. And with that, as you can see, you have now completed tier 4 of the battle pass. Anyways, time to move on from that. And we are going to open up the fantastic chest. Because once again, opening up 10 of those would complete yet another battle pass task normally. And we also got ourselves another lucky quiver from this, which is super nice. And a Shadow Lord goodie bag. So let's go ahead and open this one up real quick. To get ourselves a Shadow Lord mystery box, which is a guaranteed Shadow Lord item. So once again, it is actually pretty sick. Can we get ourselves anything? interesting we get ourselves um, the gloves which isn't too bad i just realized how stupid i was so i pretty much opened 10 of the fantastic keys instead of the galaxy keys and for the galaxy keys i need to do the galaxy mini game which is kill bosses on the corner of the galaxy island and collect myself 10 of each of these uh, key blades so hopefully that will be done very quickly it shouldn't take too long since it's a one in five drop rate oh here we go the grind is finally over this took me a lot longer than expected once again as you can see from the bones i have in my inventory but we got ourselves 10 sets of the key blades which means we can now open up four chests and hopefully we get ourselves some interesting loot starting off we already got ourselves an achievement completed with that as well um, the loot so far hasn't been the best I don't think the loot hit is too good overall except for of course the rare rewards which you are going for but um, yeah anyways I need some more inventory slots yeah, so the total loot wasn't that good overall. We did complete another achievement by opening 10 galaxy chests, which is super nice. But we also completed tier 5 of the battle pass. And with that, we also got ourselves PVM mystery box from um, opening or from completing that achievement rather. Anyways, let's go ahead and open this one up real quick and also check out the achievement or the battle pass real quick. So we can see what our next, uh, next task is going to be. And that is going to be uh, to complete 3 slayer tasks, which is super easy. And here we go. There should be our third slayer task completed which also completes tier 6 of our battle pass so i just moved on to the second room of the cash boxes and this was actually an achievement by completing that anagram as well so that is pretty cool and here we are we just killed 50 of these heavy cash boxes with that we completed tier 7 of our battle pass and we got ourselves five more heavy cash boxes that have been deposited into my bank so that is another battle pass done that is now completed so another day more voting has been done and we also claim ourselves another bronze casket through the youtube system so we have five in total let's go ahead and open those up real quick just to see what we can get from those so far nothing too good let's see what the final item is going to be nothing too good at all unfortunately but not gonna complain about three items so after a very long time right here at pass control i completed myself over 1 million pass control points which i should now be able to use to buy this shadow sword now before i actually do that i just want to make sure that it is the shadow sword that i have to buy from pest control yes it is so let's go ahead 
do that right now and we move up one tier from our battle pass once again anyways that's going to be it for today's video guys i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did make sure to smash the like button and subscribe if you didn't already also make sure to check out genesis for yourself and i'll be catching you guys in my next video peace